What I try and do is really encourage that mixed diet. And of course contemporary music is what's going on now. And if you're going to capture anybody, boy or girl, but particularly boys, they need to see the relevance of it. And so that's our starting point. When I first came to the school, there was a junior choir of which two members were boys, very brave boys I have to say, and it was actually run by a maths teacher and I didn't interfere at all initially, um, but what I did do was introduce the notion of singing into the classroom and that's a really key factor because I wanted all the children to leave the lessons feeling good because then they came in hopefully feeling good and so you had this sort of cyclical feel-good factor and so since there it's grown and what's happening now is that because the boys choir will visit the primary schools and we do that as regularly as we can the incoming year seven know all about the boys Well, I've been involved with the choirs of the school since I joined in year seven, so seven years now. I um, was singing choir for about four and a half years. Um, I decided to join at the very start of year seven because music was something I was really passionate about. And I thought it would be fun to join the choir because it would just be like fun with all my friends. When I was in year six, the boys' choir came to on a tour and they came and sang to us. But what was the most exciting thing about it was that it was uh, just boys and. Uh, I'm not the greatest singer in the world, but nevertheless, in my first music lesson, Mrs Gale got me up to the front and made me sing a little song in front of the class and I uh, said, would I come to the boys' choir and I've kind of been part of singing ever since. When anybody comes to hear them, they are quite flattered actually and I think it does bring out a huge difference in them. It's like anything in, in life, if you've got an audience suddenly you're put on the spot a little bit, aren't you? Um, but they certainly do rise to the occasion without a doubt, I've noticed that today. But it's good for them, it's good for their self-discipline as well. And that They're far more united as a team when they know they've got a common goal. The benefits is being noticed and being represented for your school and doing the um, going to the venues that we've been to. We went to um, Guildfest, which was really good because I, I like Guildfest, I always go every year, so it's really good to be able to perform there. You get like this mix between nerves and excitement, and um, you feel like, wow, there's all these people here just to listen to us. I really like going different places, so really going to new places that I haven't been to before and singing there and performing there. And of course, when you're with your friends, then it's just so much better. You know, we've done so much like recording and all, all of these different activities, so there's lots of things to remember. When we've got such a mixed uh, vo vocal ranges as well as uh, stages in their development, then you do have to spend a lot of time thinking about the arrangements of the music without a doubt. And that's okay, it just takes time. So it's actually perfectly possible, it doesn't phase me whatsoever, it doesn't phase me. You've just got to spend time knowing the people that you're working with. And so it is about arranging the music, it's about talking to the boys, what they're confident about doing, particularly when they are going through this change, what they feel that they can give full voice to, what they feel they can't give full voice to. But from my point of view, it, it really gave me the confidence to sing, where before I might have just thought singing's just something you can do in the shower or whatever. I used to get scared of singing in a group like when I was in primary school, but now I'm not so bothered. I think it's also helped me more confident singing alone as well. And then when I sing on my own, I find that I could be free and be myself, because that certainly is really good. Music is something uh, on a day-to-day -day basis that's extremely hard to avoid. And when you have the opportunity to you know, engage in that activity en masse with all your friends, um, I mean, from at, least, at least from my point of view, it's an absolutely brilliant opportunity. I think the most important thing to recognise is what the boys are interested in now. Find out what they listen to um, and essentially once you've captured their confidence they've got to be convinced by the music that they're singing. They need to know the relevance of the song, 
and obviously have a performance at the end of it because they can then see the relevance of learning it. But once you've captured that, you can go absolutely anywhere with them and their tolerance level of a lot of range of styles is fantastic. We've been doing a rehearsal for Boys Choir. We've been uh, going through some of our best songs. A lot of the songs we do is um, quite contemporary. So it's really music that we listen to anyway. We tend to vary our genres because uh, we find that we have different, uh, the minors and then the different sounds. It ranges in genre from the classical to the musical to the pop song. It's all about boys singing different genres of music. The boys' choir is still open to year 10 and 11 when once it wasn't, so the fact that they're still there now uh, is something that encourages people to join as well. It's by no stretch of the imagination is it a kind of girly thing to do because we you know we've got a vast majority of the sports captains in um, the school who are in the choir and we've got you know the entire rugby team. You shouldn't really care what they think because it's what you enjoy not what they want you to enjoy. It's got everything, it's got it's vocational and it's fun and it really helps to improve your abilities and skills. benefits are absolutely endless. Um, I mean, one could go off onto sort of lots of lovely educational speak, but actually, right from direct from the heart, I have to say, it's about confidence, but it's also about saying to boys in particular, it's okay to be emotional. And if you do it collectively, they're more, more um, able to do that. But it's also about communication. You know, we have a cohort of um, ages seven years apart that can work with each other and that's a fantastic sense of community. I've grown in confidence a lot over the four years that I was in the choir. Um, I think also growing communication skills which I have no doubt are going to help in the future so yeah it's been really beneficial in more than one way. You get like um, comments from other pupils from the school like oh you're well done and stuff and it makes you feel quite special and makes you feel good about yourself, like you've achieved something which is good. It's great to be part of something that sounds good and you need, uh, you need people who are enthusiastic to sound good and if you, if you want to do it you should just uh, do it because uh, if you don't you could regret it and you could always wonder what it was like so you may as well have a go.